Mississippi man. We'll get together every time, time we can. can. And Mississippi River can't, can't keep us apart. There's too much love in this Mississippi heart. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I know you're impressed that I can count past the number six. <laughs> but actually what I was doing was reciting Old Miss's season by season win total from 2012 all the way to last year, 2015. That's right. Last season, 10 wins for the Ole Miss program. How rare is that? Well, let's face it. It's only the third time that they've done that in the last 53 seasons. And, of course, for Ole Miss to have continued success, you have a feeling that Chad Kelly will have to play a major role in that. Of course, a year ago, he was phenomenal. The nephew of the Hall of Fame quarterback, Jim Kelly, I'll tell you what, Chad threw for over 4,000 yards. But don't forget, he was a factor on the ground, too, amassing 500 yards rushing and accounting for 11 TDs as well. And it's going to be a little bit different for Ole Miss this season. You're not going to see Laquan Treadwell in the Ole Miss uniform anymore. He's in the NFL. So we'll see if guys like Demoria Stringfellow as well as Quincy uh, Adeboyajo uh, can be focus points for Kelly. Don't forget about the tight end. Pretty valuable guy, Evan Ingram. The ground game just wasn't that stellar last year, but it was somewhat serviceable with Jalen Walton. But you have to replace him with Akeem Judd and Jordan Wilkins. Offensive line is where you're going to see the biggest changes, not just because you lose Larry McTunsell, the all-everything tackle, but you've lost three other starters as well. But it's not like the center, Sean Rawlings, or the right tackle, Robert Conyers, has never played before. In fact, they played and started a few times in 2015. In terms of the defense, last season, they were number 33 in the country, giving up 22 points per game. Not bad. One of the reasons was because of Marquise Haynes, the all-SEC player who's back in last season, he tied a school record with 10 sacks. And on the other side for the Rebels at defensive end, that all Brown. So they should be fine at DE's. Defensive tackle, of course, is a concern because you lost another one to the NFL in Robert Kimdichie. Now the linebackers, Coach Euphries went to the transfer route on this one with uh, Rommel Manio, uh, led Oregon State last year in tackles. And complimenting him, another transfer from the junior ranks, that's uh, Diedrich Bean Dukes. Looking at the secondary, not one of the best in the country last year. They had their struggles, so we'll see if the corners can have a rebound year in Tony Bridges as well as Kendarius Webster. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Here's something to think about. Can Ole Miss get through September without losing several games? It's going to be a big challenge opening up with the Seminoles in Orlando and trying to beat Bama for the third straight season. I know, easier said than done. The Rebels should get better as the season progresses, but most of those first seven games are going to be too brutal for the Rebels to handle. That's my look at Ole Miss. See you next time.